Hello and welcome to Mysteries Watch Reviews. Today we're going to check out or do the two year review of my San Martin SN019. Oh man, so it's Thursday, the 24th of October, 2024. All kinds of craziness is going on in the world. All types of weird shit is happening. The election's right around the corner. And I've had this bad boy for just a little over two years. So, this watch here, I've been wearing it all week. And... It's definitely one of my favorite San Martins, uh, mainly because of the blues. Um, the watch wears very well. You know, it's good quality build. And, I mean, you guys can tell by the scratches. Uh, you know, I, I wear this one a lot. You know, uh, it definitely gets, gets beat on a good bit. But... Oh, shit, I got some gunk on there. Like, see, there you go. I got sh some black shit on my watch. I don't know exactly what that's from. I did. A, I had to do some door handles on a Kia today, and that is the black tar shit that they use uh, to hold the plastic to the door. Damn, I'm going to have to get that off. I got it all on the side. Son of a bitch. Well... And it's on a buckle too. Damn. Well, like I said, this watch has been tried and true um, over the two years. The only problem I have had with this one, I did have to open up the case back and uh, put the rotor screw back in. It had fallen all the way out. Um, <clears throat> bezel action is still quite nice. Now, in comparison to the Sujus, this one is just a little bit tighter. I mean, just a little stiffer. Lines up nice. Oh, hold on. There we go. Lines up nice and straight. Uh, this is the PT5000 movement. You know, so on this one here, hang on a second, let's... Zoom in a little bit. Uh, you do have the ceramic bezel, sapphire glass. It's 316 steel. This one is a slightly larger case. I believe, if I remember correctly, this is a 41. And the lug width here is 21 millimeters. It's one of the only San Martins that I know that they deviated. But yeah, hang on a second. Let's measure it like this. Yep. 41.1. Like I said, this one's a little bit thicker than the Sujus at 12.8 or 12.7 without the Sapphire. Or not the Sapphire, without the Cyclops and 13.8 at the Cyclops. Uh, this one is a little bit heavier also than the, you know, the Sujus. Uh, one of the big things and you know, like I was saying with the Sujus, it actually has an on the fly adjustment. Uh, this one. Okay. So I hadn't worn the watch in a while. Last time I wore it, it was over the summertime or whatever. So when I put it on, it was actually on this hole, the very last one. Right. And the watch was loose as fuck. And again, I started wearing this watch on Monday. So here on Monday, it was right cool in the morning. So I wound up adjusting the micro adjust all the way into the second hole. Well, I wore it for a couple of days like that because it was right, rather cool. Then yesterday, yesterday it was kind of warm. So I wound up yesterday having to pop it out. And you can see uh, I used one of my picks at work, which looks like it might have elongated the hole just a tiny bit. But at any rate, I wound up having to move it out one because it was too tight well 
Funny enough, today I was wearing it and the damn thing was sliding up and down on my wrist. Uh, you know, it just was kind of flopping all over the place. Like, here, hang on. I'll just show y'all. It's just still probably doing it now. But yeah, hang on. Let me zoom out. You see what I'm saying? Like, it just slides up and down my wrist. And normally I don't like them that loose. But it just is so crazy how a couple of, a couple of degrees just changes everything on how a, a watch fits, especially on a steel bracelet, um, which is, you know, just all the more reason why for me, uh, the on the fly adjustment is just such a must have because, you know, not that it was like end of the world kind of deal, but it was, it, that was a pain in the ass. Dealing with this micro adjust like that is just, it's a pain in the dick. Um, I'd rather not have to do that. Uh, so I, I fully understand why some people just leave the watches uh, loose and rock it. But um, let's throw this thing on a time grapher and we'll check it out. I will say the loom on this one, uh, the glow in the dark is as good as the Sujis. Um both of them only last about an hour, hour and a half, and then you can't see them no more. So we got it on there. Fifty degrees. And let's see what we got. Hang on a second. Slide that back for a second. All right. Sorry, I was bumping stuff around. So I want to give it a second to see what it does. All right, we'll let it go another round. But again, like I said, this ain't been on my wrist all day today. I've been doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It was very busy at the shop, which is a good thing. Or at least I was very busy at the shop. All right, well, it's bouncing all around for whatever reason. I mean, as far as like being minus five, minus two, minus three, minus eight, uh, looks like the amplitude's calming down a little bit too. Again, the, the watches have been extremely active today. Um, it may even be magnetized. Let's double check that real quick. All right, let's double check, see about some magnetization here. Looks like it might be a little magnetized, but not. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't move at all. Yeah, it looks like it's magnetized. So hang on one second. Let's see what we got. All right, looking better now. Let's see if that changes anything.
So how's everything going in y'all's part of the world? I'd like y'all to uh, also maybe, you know, think about subscribing, hitting the notification bell, maybe join the memberships. Uh, we will be giving away a 100-year-old pocket watch here very soon. Um, I'm just waiting for them to come back from service from my buddy over at uh, Modded Time off of Instagram. I'm trying to remember to put a link to his channel down down in the description in case y'all have any watch repair needs. All right, looks like we're going to get a clean sweep of minus seven. I'm going to go with that. Yep. See, that was only four four consecutive in a row. We're just going to go with that one. So the watch is running about minus seven. So not terrible. Not terrible at all for a two-year-old Chinese watch that goes to the shop and does welding and look i wore this watch while i was sand like water sandblasting parts on my truck this week you know what i'm saying i mean you know th this watch is definitely a, a good everyday watch you know <clears throat> it just like i said it it really depends on what your needs are and stuff like that. You know, the only reason why I, I really recommend the Sujess over this one is the clasp. And like I said, this one is a little bit lighter or not lighter, but this one's a little heavier. I mean, the Sujess, you know, I just, I love wearing that watch. I really wish it was the blue on blue, um, like this one, but, and this is sized up for me. And like, this is coming in at 156 grams. So if you guys remember correctly, I think the Sujess was 142. So this is like 14 grams, almost 15 grams heavier than the Sujess. So, you know, I, I really do like this watch, you know, but the drawbacks to me is the 21 millimeter in between the lugs because that just really limits you on your bracelet sizes. Uh, or, you know, strap options and stuff like that. Uh, this is a little bit heavier, and like I said, it don't have the on-the-fly adjustment. But those are just personal preferences. I mean, beyond those things, this is a fantastic watch. Like, it has definitely been one of my best watches. Uh, you know, like I said, I mean, you guys can just see all the the wear and tear on it and everything. It just, it's been really, really good, you know, with the exception of having to go in and put the rotor screw back in. Um, that did suck. But again, from what I understand, even SW 200s and ETA 2824s have been known to have that problem. So since this is the Chinese SW 200, uh, that's not surprising to me. Um, but yeah, like I said, I absolutely love this watch. It's very fantastic. I'll have a link to it down, you know, if you want to order yourself up one. They, I don't think this one, the SN019 does not come in anything other than PT5000 or the SW200. So like I said, I think this is one of Sam Martin's best watches that they offer, you know, it like just everything, you know, the Cyclops and all that stuff. It just, it, it works very, very well. It just, you know, I really wish it had an on the fly adjustment. And I mean, it, it wouldn't even have to be like the, the Rolex one. If it had the on the fly adjustment, that would just make this an absolutely perfect watch. Uh, to me anyways, again, I like the blue on blue. Um, that's the one thing I wish the Sujess had was the blue dial. So, any anyway, rate, you guys have a good day. Uh, remember, join the membership because I'm going to be giving away that 100 year old pocket watch to my members only. Uh, you know, they, I, I, as much as I love my just all my all my subscribers and whatnot, um, this one's going to be kind of special. You know, I, I would like to get uh, 100 members, and you know. 
giveaway to watch. You know, I'm, I'm figuring a hundred year old watch, hundred members. Yeah, makes sense to me. Um, like I, I, I've spent a little over, I think three hundred, three hundred fifty dollars, and the watch is probably valued at somewhere around five hundred and something dollars, uh, beyond its historical significance. Um, so you know, just keep that that in mind. You know, you can join the memberships for a dollar ninety nine and win a $500 watch. So, yeah, but yeah, you, you, you got to continue being a member until we do the drawing. And, you know, like I said, we're, I want to get the watch, show you all which one you're going to be uh, looking at, trying, trying to win. And, you know, we'll go from there. At any rate, peace out. Oh yeah. And I, I need to say my shout outs, uh, Duncan walk around watches, the new guy, Black Cat, I don't know who you are, but thank you for joining. Um, Dean, Philo, and of course, my buddy Jody, uh, who I'm actually going to get to hang out with for the very first time this Saturday uh, in person. So looking forward to that. All right. Later, y'all.